Yeah, I'm Charlie Lambert and I'm leader of the BA Honours Sports Journalism course. Well, the course is there to give people the chance to study sports journalism. It's a, it's a three-year course. Um, they get the chance to learn all about the basics of, of journalism, but they also learn a lot about sport and how sport works in this country and how sport is developed and how sport is administered. Uh, and they also learn how to report sport, both from the point of view of a print journalist, a broadcast journalist, and an online journalist. Well, the teaching is pretty much hands-on. There's a lot of practical work involved. Uh, the people who teach on the course are people who've been involved in the business over a period of time. Many of us are still very much involved with the business of sports journalism. So the students who come on the course do pretty much get it from the horse's mouth. There's a lot of group work involved in the sports journalism course. It's the same as the journalism business anywhere, really. It all depends very much on good team working. It's not just about one big name commentator or one star columnist in a newspaper. So right from the word go, even in their first semester, students are working as part of a group to produce broadcast projects. And, and that goes all the way through the course. Um, they are assessed on individual work, but group assessment plays a big part as well. You have to be able to interact as part of a team in order to get anywhere in journalism. That's something that they have to take on board right from the word go. Well, I think it's a great subject to study. That's the first thing. I mean, you know, sports journalism, if you're interested in sport and you want to spread the word about sport to people and get information out and find out what's going on, sports journalism is a great subject to study. For most of the students who come here, they find it a really enjoyable three years. And I think it is the hands-on element as well which influences that. The fact that they don't just sit in classrooms all the time. They do go into studios. They do play around with sound and pictures. Uh, they can actually uh, produce print projects which look great on their CV. They've got something they can take away and show to people. I think it's really having that involvement, you know, it's having that commitment. And most of them are driven by a real love of sport anyway. So it's not as if it's hard graft. There's obviously a lot of discipline involved. You have to be disciplined to convert all that enthusiasm into something which makes sense in the, the world of journalism. But our students pretty much get to grips with that and they enjoy what they produce. Well, we use industry standard facilities so far as the print side is concerned. Our students use the Quark software program, which is common in a lot of newspaper offices. Uh, we have uh, radio studios, which are of a very high calibre. Uh, we also have a fully kitted out TV studio as well, all to industry standards. So they are accustomed to using equipment and that extends to operating uh, TV video cameras, also uh, radio recording devices and they get the chance to work on outside broadcast as well. So we do try to give them every opportunity to really get involved with, with what the business of sports journalism is all about these days. But one thing that um, often makes me smile is that when students are away on placement, they often uh, comment uh, how uh, uh, similar the facilities are to the ones they've been using at university, as, as if this has come as a great revelation. But of course, this is exactly what we try to do, to prepare them for a situation where they can go into the workplace and not feel as if things are unfamiliar. Well, they're supported in terms of having um, experienced tutors that they can, they can go to. And of course, the university has its own support systems in place. Student services are very good here. Um, I always stress to students that over the course of the three years they come here, it's unlikely that it'll go without any little blips along the way, but what we don't want is for a difficulty to turn into a big problem. So we do encourage students to talk about anything which might be causing them any concern. There's always somebody around who can talk to them, whether it's to do with their academic work or anything on the personal front. When students come here, and obviously they're coming straight from school or college, and probably the last thing they, they will be thinking about is what they're going to be doing three years hence. But you can't afford to wait until three years down the line before you start thinking about things like that. There are great opportunities as part of the course and as part of the organisations that we're involved with for students to gain experience outside the classroom, to actually go and work alongside organisations, to build up their own personal profile, to build up their CV, so that uh, when it comes to making applications, we would like to think students from here are a few steps ahead of students from maybe some of the other establishments. So I think that's one thing which is good. Um, they all have to go on placements as well. That helps them to build up contacts. And just the work they do in terms of interacting with 
sports clubs, football clubs up and down the country, sports organisations, to gain their own information for their own uh, newspapers, magazines or broadcast bulletins. That helps them as well to build up the contacts which stand them in good stead in the future. I think there's a lot that's special about the way we teach because we do come from this background of people who've been there and done it and in many cases are still doing it. Um, they do end up working as sports journalists. They, they put together sports magazines, they produce uh, TV sports bulletins, radio sports programmes, they create websites devoted to sports journalism. So by the time they finish their degree course, they know pretty much what's going on in the industry and they're in a good position to be able to, to move into the job market. The course does provide opportunities for, for students to go abroad in year two. They are given that opportunity and students have been abroad. Uh, we have somebody studying in the USA at the moment and several students have been to the USA and one's been to Spain in the past. So the opportunity is there for them to do that if they want to. At this moment in time, we're also trying to set up an, an initiative whereby students will be able to take part in a major um, sporting event overseas. Um, that's not been confirmed yet, so I can't say anything more about it, but we're always on the lookout to try and give students the opportunity to do something which will stretch them and improve their experience. Well, I've been um, in journalism for over 35 years. I've worked in print journalism, radio and uh, television journalism, uh, all pretty much in the world of sport. So that's the background that I, I bring. That includes 20 years at the BBC, which is a fantastic place to learn uh, about broadcasting right across the spectrum. So um, I've had, a, I've had a, a great time, really, up to now. I've travelled all over the world reporting on uh, live sporting events. I've appeared on both sides of the TV camera, both sides of the radio microphone. I've directed, I've presented, um, I've commentated. Um, uh, and before that, I had 10 years in newspapers. So I think I bring a lot of experience to, um, to the students. And hopefully I bring with that a lot of enthusiasm as well, because... I like teaching here, I like working with young people, I love the buzz of a radio studio when people are gearing up and, and ready to, to broadcast a bulletin. And uh, it's great when you feel that enthusiasm coming back from the students as well. So, yeah, I think that I've, um, I've been out on the road, if you like. Um, I've, uh, I've experienced a lot of ups and downs and I try to bring that experience to bear now for, for the benefit of, uh, of the people who are learning here. For somebody who is really committed to the idea of, of sports journalism and wanting to be a sports journalist, I think if you're a bit hazy about it, then maybe the BA Honours Journalism course is the one for you. But if you really feel that you're driven by a desire to become a sports journalist, then this is a good course. I also think it's a good course for somebody who is uh, articulate and has an interest in sport. Maybe they don't want to become a sports journalist, but they would like to have an interesting three years and end up with a very useful degree at the end of it. Well, I think UCLan's a great place for journalism. It's, it's got a history in journalism. We've been teaching journalism here for well over 40 years, and people who've studied journalism at UCLan have gone on to get some of the most influential positions in journalism in the UK. So I think that background of knowledge is something that you, you, you struggle to replicate anywhere else. I think the facilities here are good as well. That's one of the big things. Having worked part-time at other universities before I came here, I've noticed a big difference. To be able to walk into proper radio studios, a proper TV studio, proper TV gallery, uh, and know that it's all going to work, that there's good backup there in case there are any difficulties, that the, um, the learning environment is good. I think these are all plus factors which recommend UCLan very highly.